Hey guys, so a very special edition of Condition Nerd today. Now, obviously Eric is not here. Um, unfortunately, he can't join us today because he's on a flight to Gen Con. Do you think I'm jealous? I might be a little jealous. Um, but he's left me a camera and the uh, prerogative to make some awesome videos for you guys while he is at Gen Con. Uh, that being said, he's gonna send us a lot of stuff. So I'm not gonna have to do that much work. Uh, but today, I did want to have a special uh, video for you guys, for me, and especially for Bear. Uh, I know it's been a while since he's been, since Dexter's been in the vlog, uh, and it's mainly because we've been set up in the other room, and if he comes in the room, he has a tendency to pant into the camera microphone, and that's not attractive. So I'm sorry he hasn't been in recently, but I figured today was the perfect day to do a Dexter centric vlog. Um, he got a bark box in the mail yesterday and I was saving it for today because I was like, that would be perfect. I don't know what I'm gonna vlog about because Eric's on his flight, he's headed, and we'll have plenty of board games in the next couple days, but everybody loves some Dexter and everybody loves a bark box, especially Dexter. Uh, but before we get to that, I do wanna tell you guys like the best story ever. So on Monday night, uh, Eric and I were watching wrestling, getting ready for SummerSlam this coming weekend. Uh, we were, you know, just hanging out, having a normal Monday night. Dexter was in the living room with us. I got up to go to the computer room for a few minutes to work on the video. Um, Eric, like, got up and went to the bathroom, and he left two cookies sitting out. Now, if you know Dexter, and some of you know Dexter, he doesn't eat anything off of plates. He doesn't usually eat things even off the ground. You either have to hand it to him or you have to put it in his bowl. This has been how he has been his entire life. Eric trained him so well when he was a puppy that legitimately you could put a plate on the floor that was covered in steak and meat and Dexter would look at it with consternation on his face of like, why aren't you putting this in my bowl? And like, why is it on a plate? I don't need off a plate, I don't understand. So. The fact that we left two, Eric left two cookies out sitting on the table, on the side table next to the sofa, on a napkin. It's fairly safe to say that after eight years, they're pretty safe. Uh, however, he got back and the cookies were gone. Uh, I didn't eat them. Eric didn't eat them. I don't think we have any gremlins in the house or poltergeist. So I'm pretty sure Dexter ate the cookies. Um, Eric was totally confounded by this. Like, he didn't understand what was going through Dexter's mind. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, and Dex is fine. Like, he's a huge dog. A little bit of chocolate isn't gonna kill him. I figured, if anything, he would end up being sick. And he hasn't been sick. So, um, he's fine. And it's been two and a half days now, so he's definitely fine. Um, yeah, you're fine. I hear you regardless uh it has spawned a new nickname for dexter so instead of just being dexter or bear we've now started calling him cookie monster because it's just hilarious that he ate the cookies off of the napkin on the side of the table like it was just he's adorable and we love him and he's the best okay so bark box we have a bark box today for Dexter, and uh, it's been here since yesterday, and he has been anxiously awaiting us to open it. It's like he knows when they when they come and they're for him. So we should probably get to that so that he can enjoy it instead of just be upset that everybody keeps getting packages and he has one but he doesn't get to open it. All right, so let let's let's go do that. Let me go grab it. Do you want your bark box, Dexter? Do you want to go open it? Come on, we'll go open it. Let's go in the living room. Come on. So this is gonna be a little interesting today, guys, because usually we film this so that I'm holding the camera while Eric does it, but since I'm the only one here, we're just gonna have to go for it and hope for the best. All right, so, it's space themed. Oh, that's the best. Let's see what's inside, Bear. All right, all right, all right. Look, we have eclipse viewing glasses. Oh no, bark box. Oh, there's a there's a special message written on it. If only Dexter could see in color. All right, what do we have here? It's an alien. Let's take the tag off. Do you want it? Oh, it has a nice tail. 
You're totally gonna rip that tail off. All right, let's see what else is in here. There's a spaceship, because everybody likes spaceships. Now, if anybody knows anything, oh, and it has a blaster. Oh, that's really cute. We're definitely gonna play with that. He likes tug toys. However, if you've met Dexter, then you know that all he's interested in, he's like, please, mom, please, mom, please, please. All he's interested in are the treats. So let's see what treats are inside here. So we have a, a crunchy pork and apple premium chewy bars, which Dex says looks like it might be pretty good. We also have, oh, that doesn't have anything to do with this. We have Astro Bacon, and we have some interstellar space snacks. Do you wanna open these up, Bear? You wanna see what these taste like? Hold on. All right, so let's do the space snacks first. They look like, oh, I didn't even get to look, I didn't, I didn't get to look at them. Can I, can I look at them first? Hold on. They look like diamonds, but you can't see them because Dexter's eating them. All right, well, are they good? They're, they're okay? Okay, those are, those are okay. I'm gonna close the bag. Can I close the bag? All right, so let's try the Astro Bacon next. If mom can get it open. Nope, mom can't get it open. He's like, please God, mom, be able to get it open. Bear, I think I need a pair of scissors. Hold on, give me a second. All right, Astro Bacon is open. You're frothing at the mouth. These are balls, they're not bacon. Oh, um, okay, how is that? Do you want another one? That was very gentle. You're a good boy. Was it a good bark box? Yeah. Yeah, you're like, what else is in your hands, mom? I don't have anything else, it's all gone. He's like, it's not all gone. They're still baking out. All right, one more, because I love you, and you're a good boy. All right, and we will try the crunchy pork apple bars later. That's a lot of treats for one afternoon, buddy. You gotta eat your dinner tonight. What do you say? Can you give me a high five? Yeah, high five. Good boy. So, was it a good bark box? You liked it? It was pretty good. Anyway, uh, so Dex had his bark box. He's very happy. He will have plenty more treats, and now he's playing with his toys because he's adorable. He doesn't like being on camera, I'm sorry about that. Uh, anyway, so that was the vlog, I think, for the day today. Tomorrow we will be back with coverage from Gen Con, more about board games, more about everything, and Dex will probably be eating treats again tomorrow. Regardless, I think it was a pretty good day. Dex says it's a great day, because he got treats. Uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Definitely follow us on Instagram and Twitter for coverage of Gen Con. If that is your thing, you're into board games, definitely follow us there. Um, and there'll be more Dexter in the future because, I mean, look at this guy. He's pretty adorable. And he likes treats. And he definitely likes bark boxes. So, anyway, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys had a great day and uh, we will see you tomorrow. All right, bye.